Depending on where you get your news about China, you probably think China is a poor wasteland or the future of mankind. Despite what you personally think about China, things are developing fast and China just recently gave the green light to produce a nuclear reactor that uses thorium. If this reactor is commercialized, it will completely change the world. World changing technology doesn't come around that often, but if China fully develops thorium reactors, it will completely change the energy market and allow China to achieve energy independence in a clean and safe way. That is a big statement, so let's jump into this story and find out what thorium reactors are and how they are different than traditional nuclear reactors. I'm not a nuclear physicist, obviously, so I'm not going to get too technical on this video, but I will share some of the highlights and benefits of using a molten salt reactor. I'm sure some of you can add more in the comments below, but after doing some research, there are three main benefits that keep coming up which are size, safety, and coolant, or the lack of water coolant needed. First off, and maybe the biggest difference, is the lack of water coolant needed to run a molten salt reactor. This is a big deal because it allows these reactors to be used in desert areas or areas with few water resources, and it makes these reactors much safer. Currently, most nuclear power plants use water as the main coolant and steam for electricity generation. Because of the high pressures needed to keep the water from turning into vapor, and because of additional elements and compounds needed to create and maintain the systems, many radioactive byproducts are created. These byproducts are nuclear waste, and are extremely difficult to deal with or dispose of. On top of the byproducts that build up within the system, the water used within the systems are also extremely radioactive, which means accidents like Fukushima can lead to millions of liters of radioactive water being dumped into the environment. So how are molten salt reactors different and what does it use for a coolant? According to an article in Nature, molten salt reactors eliminate the nuclear meltdown scenario present in water-cooled reactors because the fuel mixture is kept in a molten state. The fuel mixture is designed to drain without pumping from the core to a containment vessel in emergency scenarios, where it solidifies, quenching the reaction. In addition, hydrogen evolution does not occur. This eliminates the risk of hydrogen explosions as in the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Uh, okay, that was very scientific. Uh, let's put that into more understandable terms. Think of a volcano. When a volcano erupts, it spews out molten lava, but given time, the lava solidifies and hardens. This molten reactor does the same thing. In an emergency, the molten salt is removed from the reactor and left to cool, which prevents meltdown scenarios. On top of that, because hydrogen isn't present in the process, hydrogen gases can't build up within the system, creating explosions. Also because of the design, these reactors can be much smaller compared to water-cooled reactors. In the 1950s, the US conducted the aircraft reactor experiment, which according to the US Department of Energy was an experimental nuclear reactor designed to test the feasibility of fluid fuel, high temperature, high power density reactors for the propulsion of supersonic aircraft. The aircraft reactor experiment was the first reactor to use circulating molten salt fuel. Because of the work of hundreds of engineers and scientists on this project, they were able to come up with technical data and new equipment that broadened the development of molten salt reactors as well as liquid metal cooled reactors. This work was groundbreaking at the time. But unfortunately, the US gave up on their molten salt reactors and I won't go into some of the theories around why, but one of the many reasons China is exploring it today is because of the lack of radioactive byproducts. According to reports, the use of thorium rather than uranium or plutonium has a number of advantages. The fuel is less radioactive and because it can solidify, it can contain most of the environmental damage. It will also make the design easier to export as the elements cannot be used to make nuclear weapons. One of the biggest drawbacks in nuclear power today is the need to enrich uranium, which can also be used in nuclear weapons or other products like depleted uranium bullets, which are highly regulated products around the world. By removing the component that makes current nuclear power dangerous, China could export thorium reactors around the world, helping to develop other nations' power grids. This would greatly change the energy mix and allow nations to move away from fossil fuels like coal and oil. China has long struggled with its energy mix due to the lack of large oil deposits, 
but new developments in technology might allow China to bypass some of the current bottlenecks they face. Thorium reactors could allow China to build power plants that are more environmentally friendly and allow China to continue to electrify. China is already the largest EV market in the world, and with developments like electric-powered cargo ships and plasma drives for airplanes, China could solve their fossil fuel problem by bypassing it altogether. This project actually started many years ago in 2011, and in 2017, the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics, which has been leading work on the reactor, announced the creation of a new alloy that is made of nickel, molybdenum, and silicon carbide. Professor Ran Yu of the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics was the lead researcher on the reactor. He wrote in a paper published in the Chinese journal Nuclear Techniques saying a molten salt reactor has the advantages of being multi-purpose, small in size and highly flexible. In recent years, the potential of small-scale molten salt reactors has caught the international attention. The commercial reactor designed by Professor Yan and his colleagues would only be 3 meters tall and 2.5 meters wide, but could produce enough electricity to power a town of 100,000 inhabitants. The Thorium Molten Salt Reactor Project was begun in 2011, has been underway in Wuwei City, Gongsu Province in China's remote northwest. The project was launched in 2011, but construction didn't start until 2018, and the most recent permit issued by the National Nuclear Safety Administration on June 7, 2023, allows the Shanghai Institute to operate the reactor for 10 years, and it will start by testing operations. The first commercial version, with the power of around 100 million watts, is due to enter service around 2030. Given the potential of this technology to change the energy mix around the world, it isn't surprising to see China greenlight this project. The technology was proven in the 1950s, and with recent breakthroughs, we could see it make a comeback. So what do you think of this uh, newish, but not so new, reactor? Do you think China will develop it and sell it commercially around the world? Or do you think that nuclear power is too dangerous to develop? Leave a comment below, and if you're looking for more tech from China, uh, I'm sure you'll love this video here.